Hey everybody and welcome to our YouTube channel. Thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, we're doing top four as we usually do on this YouTube channel. I think that's what we're calling it. We haven't really nailed down a name yet. We're playing with that one. So top four, there are four of us. And we're going to be talking about top four sidekicks this time around. And there have been a lot of sidekicks. But before we get to that, Josh, how you been, bud? Uh, I've been doing pretty well, thanks. How was that drive by from Jersey? Uh, pretty smooth, and I've been uh, I I've been listening to a couple audio books, and uh, I've been got super engrossed in it, and I almost missed a few exits. But other than that, great. That's not a bad that's not a bad drive. When you're so engrossed, you almost miss an exit. That's not a bad drive. Tommy, how you doing, buddy? It's been a week. It's been a week. That's right. We're all vegan for the month. Vegetarian. 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 I, I was waiting for LT to go week by week. We're, we've been vegetarian now for eleven days. Everybody doing all right? Yeah. Yeah. LD smiling. Yeah. Crazy yeah. look in his eye. Mikey, how you been this week? <laughs> I'm doing great. All right. So uh, we said, uh, you, I'm sorry, I stepped on you there. I suck. No, that's okay. <laughs> so we talked about vegetarian. On a little bit of a side note, can anyone name three vegetarian, uh, vegan superheroes? Name three. Animal Man. Swamp Thing. Animal Man is one. Swamp Thing is two. Wait, Swamp uh, Thing, Thing eats. Wait, are you telling me Swamp Thing only eats plants? He's kind of gross, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's an herbivore. Well, he's, he's also a necrophyte, though. Poison Ivy. Poison Ivy. There's a bunch more. Uh, the Beast. Uh, uh, Wonder Woman. So that's just a so, tangent. So I can't think man thing eats kicker. animals? What was that? Man thing eats animals? Also a necrophyte, I would believe. Because oh. they get their nutrients right from the swamp, right? Yeah. So they that's need to eat. So that's mostly plant, but I would also say also dead creatures. So I would say a necrophyte also. So he's a Jane. A Jane. No. James don't eat dead things. I thought they ate things that just naturally like fell off trees and such. Yeah, but not animals. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just had a heart. <laughs> it fell off that uh, tree. Uh, let's see but we're not talking about veganism or vegetarianism today. We're talking about sidekicks. I couldn't think of a single sidekick that is a vegetarian or a vegan. I bet there's a couple out there. Everyone's already screwed up their brain, but let's talk about top four. Who wants to go first with their top pick for a I'll go first. Oh, bold. Arthur. What? Fuck. Drink. <laughs> drink. <laughs> Whenever someone mentions someone else's pick, it's a drink. Arthur, so coordinated, did so much for the tick, kept him on task sometimes, <laughs> provided transportation via his sister, provided a lair. A lair. <laughs> Probably the best sidekick around. Not a bad sidekick. I give you that. Who's next? You. you Me? Right. I, I like Robin. Nobody's drinking to that? No one picked which, Robin? Which one? That's a yeah. great question. Which Robin? I'm really actually going to go for a more of an all-over Robin because I like them all a lot. But if I, I had to pick one... The mantle of Robin head, is fine. Yeah, if you, if you put a gun to my head... The Robin from The Dark Knight Returns was one of my absolute favorites. Uh, I can't remember her name off the Terry top of my Kelly. head. Thank you. Uh, she reprogrammed the Batmobile on the fly. She reprogrammed the uh, the Batcopter on the fly. She learned the move. She did the work. She was a good, good sidekick. She got Batman out of his malaise and back into the fray. I really enjoyed her. And she was fearless. But, I mean, all the Robins were, I mean, that's, when I think of, the first thing that I think of when I think of Sidekick is Robin. I mean, it's kind of hard not to. He was, I don't believe he, he was not the first. Uh, but he definitely was one of the first to really catch on. He may have been the first, uh, unless you're counting the pulp. Heroes. Yeah, we gotta go, I mean, the, so, the uh, Seven Soldiers of Victories uh, had stripes here, right? That was after. That was after? Yeah. I'll, have to, I'll have to take a look because I mean Robin doesn't come until later. No, he's an issue like 
but he's just like eight issues into Batman. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I don't think that's right, but we can look that up. Because I thought they brought Robin in to kind of calm him down in like the, uh, like much later. Yeah. To give him more wholesome. All right, I could be wrong on this. I'll take a look at that while you tell me what your next one, your favorite one is. Josh, go ahead. <laughs> Damn it. I, fuck it. He stole my Arthur. Um, favorite sidekick. Another one. Well, if we're including Young Justice, I'm going with Aqualad. Oh, I like Aqualad. Yeah. Which yeah. one? The Young um, Justice. Uh, one yeah uh what's his name why can't i think of his real name aqualad yeah 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 Yeah. aqualad it's not just goes by (laughs) he just goes by his name in the cartoon and i can't think of it almost no one calls him aqualad uh it begins with a g doesn't it caldura calderam you were thinking of garth who was the original Aqualad? Yeah, I was thinking of Calder from the uh, from Young Justice. I really like I like the um, the, the hydrokinesis. Uh, I enjoy that ability, and I like the fact that he just wears a backpack full of water to make his weapons. <laughs> that is why cool. You? Like why wouldn't you? Like yeah, yeah, that's, that's your power, dude. That's smart. That's just yeah. thinking. That's thinking. Yeah. So thank yep. God somebody's got a good use for a camel pack. Yeah. yeah, and in that storyline, eventually he just becomes Aquaman, and mm-hmm. one of the leaders of the Justice League. Which I enjoy because so, I like that character. So I am going to last, but certainly not least, Speedy, aka Red Arrow, aka Arsenal, because oh, you're I, just I, <laughs> I am. Please, you're I just drink, drink. But can we drink? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll drink, drink to it. that. Diane picked it. Well, let me state why he's one of the best sidekicks ever, because this kid, this kid has actually had a lot of story development. Uh, has a lot of sidekicks, they never mature uh, past the sidekick stage. He did and became his own hero. Before he even became his own hero, he had a different personality than Green Arrow. Um, so he really kind of stood out in the early Teen Titans stuff that that he was in. And then later on, you know, he ends up getting addicted to drugs, going through uh, all of that, and then having a daughter. He's one of the few superheroes that has a kid, um, ends up losing, losing an arm. He's, he's had a lot of bad shit happen to him. But he has a he's, very humid story arc. Yes. And Roy is also connected to not just Green Arrow, his uncle was the Golden Age Guardian. Yeah. Also yeah. a great storyline in Young Justice. Yeah, love it. Yeah. Yeah. Also, I mean, you know, you got to respect the clipboard. Yeah, yeah. you got to respect the clipboard. The clipboard. You, you, oh, you don't respect the clipboard, bad things happen, man. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so I guess that'll do it. That will do it. I uh, um, a lot of fun talking about this. <laughs> uh, just getting back to what we said about Robin. Uh, Robin was debuted in April of 1940. He's beat up by a couple others, but nobody nearly as of note. Like really obscure figures. Most people agree that Robin is the first real sidekick. Uh, Wing appeared in 38. Yeah. Uh, but he did a... Bu- 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 uh, yeah, April 1940, Detective Commons, number 38. No, no, no. The no, wing, wing appeared in 1938 as the sidekick for the Crimson Avenger. But it was I, just yeah. a ripoff of the Green Hornet. Yes. And uh, there's a couple of... And uh, we've talked about this uh, character before. Uh, Steamboat. Uh, where is he? Steamboat was more of comic relief than sidekick, I guess. I don't know. They have him listed as a sidekick, so. And yeah, well, we'll do that at our panel uh, in Pensacola yeah. on sidekicks. But yeah. uh, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye.